Jesus came with his disciples to a country place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit down here while I go over yonder and pray. Then he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee. And he began to be sad and exceedingly troubled. He said to them, My soul is sad even unto death. Wait here and watch with me. He went forth a little, and falling prostrate, he prayed, saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. Almighty and eternal Father, accept our prayer of thanksgiving for your beloved Son, our Savior and Lord. As we recall the sacred passion, send the Spirit of Christ to our hearts, we beg you, so that whether we pray or work, we might move all in union with Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Jesus, Lord, condemn, defile, may we too be meek and mild, as we tread your holy way. May we feel no bitter hatred, when we too are persecuted, left alone to walk with you. First station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross and purity in the world. Again, the high priest began to ask him and said to him, Are you Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus said to him, I am. And you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, But further ye have made no witnesses. You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as liable to death. Please be seen. The kings of the earth cried out, and the princes conspired together against the Lord. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I will be my Lord. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for the Lord. And the ends of the earth are their possessions. Let us pray, all powerful and eternal God, for proclaiming the truth, your Son, Jesus Christ, is condemned to death by crucifixion. Stir up your love in our hearts so that we might be ever faithful to all that you have told us and fear nothing more than the loss of your friendship through sin. Amen. We stand. Now the cross as Jesus bore it has become for us who share it the jeweled cross of victory. Second stage, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because of thy holy cross you the Lord. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king, for they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. And he handed him over to them to be crucified. And so they took Jesus and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. Please be seated. Who would believe what we have heard? To whom has been the word of the Lord in the beginning? He grew up like a sapling before him, like a shoot on the hard earth. There was a man who was lately buried to make us look at him. No appearance after the trap was in him. He was rejected and avoided by men. A man of suffering, accustomed to his burden. One of those from whom men turn away, and when they help him, he will never see. Let us pray. Father in heaven, you 
your Son, Jesus Christ, still carries his cross and his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. Make us feel the needs of all persons so that we might as readily help them as we would help Jesus himself. Amen. We can prod it, cursed and fallen, his whole body bruised and swollen. Jesus tripped and lay in pain. Third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because of your cross. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before you. If you were on the world, the world of love, what is its own? Because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hates you. Remember the word that I have spoken to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. Why are you closer in the garments of those of the life of The wine press I have trodden on, and that of my people there was no one but me. I trod them in their anger and trampled them down in my wrath. Their blood spurted on my arms, and I slain upon my horses. I looked about them, but there was no one to help them. I was appalled that there was no one to let them go. So my own arm brought about the victory. Let us pray, O God, to free us from sin and weakness, your Son, Jesus Christ. Embrace his fearful passion and crucifixion. Strengthen us in our baptismal resolutions by which we renounce sin and Satan, so that through the passion of this life's sufferings, we might rise to a new life of joyful service, free from all selfishness. Amen. Jesus met his grieving mother, she who made the Lord our brother. Now the sword her heart has pierced. Fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your own cross you have redeemed the world. Now there was standing by the cross of Jesus. His mother and his mother's sister, Mary, with this, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus, <laughs> therefore, saw his mother and his disciples standing by, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. To what can I what example can I show you for your comfort, urging my desire? For great as the sea is your distress, who can do it? Let us pray, O oh blessed Lord, at your passion and sore out sorrow, here's the loving heart of your mother, as Simeon has foretold. Grant that we who look back on her sorrows with compassion might receive the healing fruits of your sufferings. Amen. Simon stopped in hesitation, not foreseeing his proud station, called to bear the cross of Christ. The fifth station, Simon of Sidney helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. That's why we have a And when they had mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off and put his own clothes on him. And they led him out to be crucified. Then they forced the certain passerby, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country to take off his cross. They brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha 
a name in the place of the skull. With a loud voice, I beseech you, Lord. My complaint I pour out before him. Before him I lay bare my distress. When my spirit is faint within me, you know my path. In the way along which I walk, they have hid a trap for me. I look to the right to see, but there is no one who pays me heed. I have lost all means of escape. There is no one who cares for my life. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to see the sufferings and shortcomings of our lives and share in your cross. Strengthen and console us in the belief that we bear all things in union with you, who have taken upon yourself even our guilt. Amen. Brave the trembling came the woman, none but she would flaunt the Roman, moved by love beyond her fear. The sixth station arrived by wife's and face of Jesus. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you, because of you. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you truth? And when did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And answer the king will say to them, Amen, I say to you, as long as you did it for one of these, the least of my brethren. You did it for me. A faithful friend to the sturdy shelter. He who finds one finds a treasure. A faithful friend who is beyond Christ knows some can balance his work. A faithful friend is a life-saving remedy, such as he who fears God finds. For he who fears God behaves accordingly, and his friend will be like himself. Let us pray. Almighty and ever loving God, we feel your love and understanding in the consolation and support we receive from one another. Give us, we beg you, the courage and dedication to sacrifice and suffer with those who are in need, the least of your people. Amen. Prostrate on the dust he crumbled, clogged in body he resembled. All our brothers poor and scorned. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because of the It was our weaknesses that he carried, our sufferings that he endured, while we thought of him as stricken, as one struck by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the punishment that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Though he was harshly treated, he submitted and opened on his mouth, like a lamb led to the slaughter, for a sheep before the shearer. He was silent and uttered no cry. When he was cut off from the land of the living, and smitten for the sin of his people, a grave was assigned to him among the wicked, and a burial place for evil doers. Though he had done no wrong, let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you shared in our weaknesses and accepted our guilt. Grant us the favor of rejoicing over our human weaknesses, so that in all that we do, your strength dwelling in us may be shown to all others. 
The age safety changes means to women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because of our own cross and endure. There was following Jesus a great crowd of people, and among them were some women who were bewailing the lamenting him. Jesus turning to them said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Come. Oh, yeah. Look and see whether there is any suffering like my suffering, suffering with which the Lord has afflicted me on the day of his blazing wrath. At this I weep, my eyes run with tears. Far from me are all who would console me. Far away are any Let us pray, the love of Jesus. With tears of pity, these women of Jerusalem responded to you, broken, bruised, and beaten, on the road to Calvary. Deep in our pain, we beg you, so that we may see you in our brothers and sisters, bruised by our enemy, being down by injustice. And broken by our greed and our indifference. Amen. Jesus fell again in weakness, stumbling as we do to lead us through our sorrow and our pain. The ninth stage, Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. I lie prostrate in the dust. Give me life according to your word. I declare my ways, and you answer me. Teach me your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts. And I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. My soul waits for sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Oh, Lord, is my life and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. On whom should I be afraid? When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you permitted your Son to be weakened, crushed, and profaned, so that he might rise from the dead, free from the ravages of sin. Help us to accept our weaknesses and failings as forerunners of our glorious resurrection. In your name, with your Son. Amen. Stripped and jeered by his own nation, Jesus stood in desolation, giving all he had to give. Temptation, Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because of thy holy cross you have made the world. They gave Jesus wine to drink with God. But when he had tasted it, Drink. And after they had crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. 
They divide by the oaths among men, and upon my garments they cast lots. After that, be as the man who God has Do not reject the punishment of the Almighty, for he rules, but he binds God. He smites, but his hands give you. He insults my broken heart, and I am weak. I look for comforters, and they found none. Rather, they took all my food, and in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, stripped of everything, you stood exposed to the tears and content of the people whom you love. Clothe us with genuine love of others, so that nothing we suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness. Amen. Pierce the hands that blessed and cured us. Pierce the feet that walked to free us. Walk the hill of Calvary. Eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. When they came to build the club, the place called the skull, they crucified Jesus and the robbers, one on his right and the other on his left. And Jesus said, Forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they are doing. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Far from my prayer, far from the words of my heart. Oh my God. I cry out by day, and you answer night. I cry out by night, and there is no relief for me. All my bones are out. My heart has become like wax, melted away with no excess. My throat is dry out by day for me. My tongue cleaves to my mouth. They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Let us pray. Lord and Savior, you have told us that we too must accept crucifixion. If we are to accept resurrection with you, help us to rejoice in the sufferings that come with the fulfillment of our daily duties, seeing in them the royal road of the cross to the resurrection. Life eternal, death defiant, bowed his head, the world was silent. Through his death came life anew. Twelve stations, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because of the cross, It was now about the sixth hour. And there was darkness over the whole land until the night hour. And the sun was darkened, and the curtain of the temple was torn in the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice and said, It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And bowing his head, he died. My people.
Stunned and stricken, Mary Mother, in your arms was placed our brother, full of grace now filled with grief. Thirteen stations, the body of Jesus is taken down to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we let praise you. When the soldiers came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so that they did not break his legs. But one of them opened his side with a lens, and immediately it came out blood and water. Joseph of Arimathea, because he was a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one for fear of the Jews, he saw the fire that he might take away the body of Jesus. And fire gave permission. Oh, oh my people, I will open your graves and have you rise from there. And I will bring you back to your land. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. Oh my people, I will put my spirit in you that you may live. You shall know then that I am the Lord. I have promised it, and I will do it, says the Lord. Let us pray. Beloved Savior, you return to the Father all that I have given you, so that you might restore all to you a hundredfold in the glorious resurrection. Help us, we beg you, to give generously of ourselves in all that we do for you, so that, like you, we might be made perfect in a new resurrection. Amen. Jesus, Lord, your gift accepted, in three days you resurrected. You did first what we shall do. Fourteen stations, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We are going to go Christ and we pray to you, because by your holy cross you redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea, took the body of Jesus, and wrapping it in a clean linen cloth, he laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of rocks. Then he rolled a large stone against the entrance of the tomb and departed. I, I will praise you, O Lord, Lord, for you drew me here, and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you, You preserve me from among those going down into the pit. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, his goodwill is for a lifetime. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with dawn comes rejoicing. Let us pray, Almighty and eternal God. On the age of Cyprus, when all seemed lost, you restored to us the Savior we thought defeated and conquered. Help us, we beg you, so to empty ourselves of self concern that we might see your hand in every failure and your victory in every defeat. These things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever with you in the unity. Of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus risen, be our lover in your food and in our brother. Lead us home to heaven with you. The resurrection of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because of the Holy Cross and the Lord. When the Sabbath was past, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome brought spices that they might go and anoint Jesus. Very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had just risen, they came to the tomb. 
They were all saying to one another, Who will roll the stone back from the entrance of the tomb for us? For it was very large. But looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back, and upon entering the tomb, they were amazed to see a young man sitting at the right side and clothed in a white robe. He said to them, Do not be terrified. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. I believe, I believe in God, God Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord wants to thank you for being here, walking with Jesus to Calvary. So he really thanks you. And he will provide you with blessings and graces throughout your own journey. And we want to thank Mr. Nolan for videotaping and the beautiful singing. We want to thank all of you, especially our young boys and girls here. Okay? And also our acolyte, Joseph, and our sacristan and uh, prosper, Mr. Alex. And most important, we thank the Lord for we not. So God bless you and have a good night. God bless. See you thank guys. You.